G'day everyone, uh, I'm up here on the roof of the bus today because even though they're lifting restrictions soon, gonna take this chance to do some renovations on the bus while we still have a, a good solid base uh, with um, power and tools. Uh, so today I'm gonna be removing this old aircon unit and, uh, well, starting to anyway. And I'm gonna replace it with a flat sheet so I can put some more solar panels on there. I've already taken one solar panel off. We've got to get this one off. It's glued down. See? Here's a hot tip when you do your uh, if you're doing a bus conversion, don't glue your solar panels to the roof just in case you have to work on them because uh, it's a pain in the ass to get off. All right, I'll talk to you a bit later. So just to let everyone know, it wasn't me that glued the solar panels to the roof previous owner. I guess he did it to stop them from shifting and moving while the bus is moving but far out it's made it a pain in the ass to try and get off. So what I'm doing here is using a flat knife to try and break the bond between the glue and the roof. about as much fun as it looks. All right, got that panel off, nice and free. And it took me about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna reiterate, don't glue your panel down. Um, now I'm gonna try and remove this top plate here and see what I'm working with. Um, it's been waterproofed, so it's gonna take a while. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and remove the waterproofing from around the screws and then under all the screws and uh, see what we've got. All right. Thank you, Doke. So after some experimentation, I've uh, I found out the best way to do this. See how it's all coated with the uh, waterproofing membrane? Can't get a spanner on it, can't get a bloody socket on it, can't get a drill on it. Get an open-ended spanner like this, jam it in there, that breaks the waterproofing membrane and then you twist and the screw does the rest very hard to do it one handed though Ta -da, look at that okay so I've popped this panel off the sheet metal Let's have a look inside. There's bugger all. So it looks like there used to be something lying there. Possibly gas bottles. I'm not sure there's a compressor up there. Um, so quite possibly this used to be storage for the gas bottles, but now it is completely empty and just taking up well, it's creating drag on the bus and also adding some weight, so it's going to go. Okay, so we've got half of that off. Going to work on the other half, top half, and see what's under door number two. Um, this seems to be pretty good, and this is nice and flat, which is awesome. I wasn't expecting that, so I might be able to keep this and lay the solar panels lengthways across it. Uh, so yeah, we go. This second plate is nearly up. Uh, it's glued on and it was screwed. I've undone the screws. Now I'm slowly going along the edges and popping the glue up. Uh, the best way I've found to do that, the best way I've found to do that is go along with a screwdriver and lever up a little bit. That just breaks the hold of the glue. So yeah, I've nearly got this one up. All right, that is it without those top plates. I've been cutting around maybe one, 200 kilos of spare weight on the top of the bus, which uh, doesn't need to be here. So, yeah, I'm going to try and do my best to take this apart without doing too much damage, I guess. They may be a job for another day. Let's see how much time I have left. Thank you. 
probably a layer of glue that'll go right through. And the previous owner has uh, decided that the best way to weatherproof his seams, waterproof his top, is to put this silver tape along it. It's like a silver foil on top, and underneath it is just super, super sticky. silicon over and just left so we're gonna have to fix that too before it develops into a big problem but um yeah glad i caught it i guess more adventures if you're gonna fix rust don't use silicon fix it properly right, i've had a bit of a chat with myself i've come to an executive decision this thing will come apart easier if it was in pieces so that's what i'm gonna i'm gonna carve it up so as you can see i've cut away a section Underneath, it looks like about two decades worth of dust and filth. And under the glue, you can see by these reddish patches, signs of rust. So all in all, glad we got through it. So we'll fix all this. Um, so every time I've been working on the roof, uh, I've had to go out through the hatch here. And to get out through the hatch, I've sort of had to grip onto the hole, put my leg up on the kitchen sink and hoist myself up like that. Which is, a bit of, which is a bit of a safety hazard. Uh, so I've recently went out and bought myself a new toy. Check this out. This is a telescopic ladder. So right now it's folded down. It only gets to this high, which is about, I don't know, 600 maybe, 600 mil. But if you unpack it, it telescopes out. And this can reach 3.6 meters tall. Look at the ease of that. You are so happy with it. So happy with my ladder. So now all I have to do is this. Oh, look at me go. Bloody bright out here actually. Too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, progress report. It's about, I don't know, middle of the third day. I'm down to the original roof on the, about half of this. And I've got this half to go. Cutting it into pieces and breaking it off bit by bit so I don't have a big massive chunk of metal fly off the roof. Should be done by the end of the day, cross fingers. Alrighty, it only took me three days. The box is off. Check it out. Yeah, it started there. Went to there. Took up too much space. Too much space. Now look at it. Actually, really, really, really happy that I um, took that box off because underneath it, check that out. Look at that. That is just ugly. Big rust. To fix that, I reckon it goes over there actually. It takes up a lot of room and space. You have to fix that. Look at that. Uh, today I'm going to find out how big this rust hole is and um, maybe sanding the roof back to bare metal ready for waterproofing. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, well you can see here where I've taken it back to bare metal, how far the rust has gone in. I've lifted up this sheet and it's only gone a little bit on the inside of this inside, I don't know if you can see that. But the main problem is it's spread to these support, support steel, 
and from the looks of it, it's spread along the support steel alongside that way. It's also gone a little bit in here, uh, and it's working its way along there. I'm just curious as to see how far along the support steel it's gone. Especially if you look up here, see that's really rusty. If it's gone the whole length of the bus or not, and if it has, it's going to be a really big job to fix. Um, the same on the other side, I haven't gone to started work here, but you know, you've got big rust patches up there, so we can assume that it's done the same thing. Um, so I'm going to have to do some investigating, I guess. All right, it's the end of another day, day four maybe on the roof. It's my progress so far. Got the sheet metal stripped back, uh, exposing the rust patches that I need to fix. Um, these are styrofoam insulation bats, so don't worry about them. Uh, so tomorrow's plan is to uh, strip back more of the sheet metal where I need to and uh, see how much rust I need to fix, see how much more sheet metal or new sheet metal I need to order. Uh, for to replace the roof. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.